My name is Nathan Harpum, and I'm an attorney at Albert Tazi Law Firm in Bend, Oregon. The coronavirus pandemic has created a lot of uncertainty in our society, including for the rights of landlords and tenants. Today, I'm going to give a general overview of what recent changes in Oregon law mean for landlords and tenants currently, as well as in the near future. Governor Kate Brown recently signed House Bill 4213 into law. This bill creates two important back-to-back six-month periods. The first six-month period is the emergency period that runs from April 1st, 2020 through September 30th, 2020. The second six-month period is the grace period that runs from the end of the emergency period through March 31st, 2021. During the emergency period, a landlord cannot deliver or take action to take possession of premises from a tenant for non-payment of rent. A landlord also cannot assess a late fee or other penalty on the tenant for non-payment of rent during the emergency period. Tenants do not need to give their landlord any documentation or evidence as to the cause of the non-payment and tenants are also not required to make any partial payments, even if they're able to do so. Essentially, tenants are not required to pay rent during the emergency period, and landlords are not able to take action to evict them unless there is some other cause, such as the tenant inflicting substantial injury on another person on the premises. Following the emergency period, Tenants will have a six month period, the grace period, to repay the balance owed for non-payment during the emergency period. During the emergency period, a landlord may deliver a notice to the tenant that states, among other requirements, that on a date certain, not earlier than 14 days from issuance of the notice, that the tenant must either pay the full balance of the non-payment that occurred during the emergency period or provide the landlord with a notice that the tenant intends to make the payment of the non-payment balance prior to the end of the grace period. Tenants need to be aware that if they receive such a notice and fail to either pay the balance or give their landlord notice of their intent to do so by the end of the grace period, the landlord is entitled to recover damages from the tenant in the amount of 50% of one month's rent following the end of the grace period. Landlords also need to be aware that if they violate this new law, the tenant will be entitled to recover up to three months rent and actual damages from the landlord. There are important requirements for the landlord's application of rent during the grace period, as well as the required contents of the notice that a landlord can give to the tenant that I have not covered in this video. And so if you have a specific situation wherein you need legal assistance, you should consult with an attorney.